All right, Jesus is Lord. I am so glad the word works and I'm a work in it. My Bible says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor standeth at the feet of the sinner, sitteth at the feet of the sinner, standeth in the way, whatever. But his mind is renewed by the word of God. But his delight is in the word of God, the law of God, and in it, the word, doth he meditate day and night. See, what he's doing is he's being transformed by renewing his mind to think like God thinks. And after you begin to think like God thinks, then you begin to talk like God thinks, and you receive what God wants you to receive. <coughs> Excuse, me. <coughs> Excuse me. You receive what God's already done for you and start walking in that victory rather than going through the junk, the, the curse that everybody else is going through. Now, you may go to a church where everybody's just suffering and serving God. I wouldn't go to a church like that. I'd go to a church where somebody talked about the goodness of God, the blessings of God. How do I walk in that? How do I walk in divine health? You know, and I'm not picking on your pastor, but if he's sick and miserable and, you know, dying and, and can't hardly walk and all that, find you somebody that knows how to live in victory and knows how to receive the healing of God. They told me, you know, years ago when I had this problem down in Cuba, it's called Meniere's disease, that they could do a little procedure for me and I wouldn't be sick all the time, but I'd never walk again without a walker. He said, you might get good enough someday to walk on a cane. Uh, and I said, look, y'all do what you got to do. And I'm going to believe God. I came home. I planted the seed of the word of God for weeks, man. I studied the word of God. I planted the word. I put it on my chest and I said, body, you're healed in Jesus name. I went to the internet, looked up some exercises to do to get rid of uh, what they call vertigo or dizziness. And I want you to know I do what I want to. I leap, I jump, I'm praising God. I go where I want to go. I do what I want to do. My body's totally well. My mind's been renewed to the word. Uh, you know, I ride my motorcycle. I went snow skiing every year since then. Uh, you know, I climb on top of the house if I need to. I do what I want to do. I don't have any of those symptoms that they said I would have to live with, but I had to go to the word for myself. I didn't go to a great healing meeting and get somebody to pray for me. I went to the Word and found out about a great healing meeting that Jesus sent His Word and healed me. And with His stripes, I was healed. And I renewed my mind to that. And I still remember after about 30 days or so of believing the Word when I had to go out and drive my own car. And it took me nearly two hours to get to where I was going, which was a 15-minute drive because my mind wasn't working right. I was all messed up. I got dizzy. I got drunk. I got sick on the way. And, you know, I had to call and get some help. And, and finally, I got back home. Took me four hours to go to and from Walmart. But now I do whatever I want to do because I renewed my mind that Jesus had paid the price for my sickness, and I proved that. I've gone to the Word until I'm walking in that. I've gone into the word until I found out that wealth and riches are in my house until it's here. And I'm walking in the blessing of God. Now, I'm believing God paid some things. I mean, I got some stuff that came in yesterday that's due. Uh, I went to the post office box yesterday and was hoping maybe I was going to get some money in the mail. What I got in the mail was the post office box dues are due. And I thought, well, whoopee do. But you know what? That doesn't move me because I know that wealth and riches are in my house and God meets my needs according to his riches and glory. But I had to renew my mind. I had to do this for myself. I couldn't pick up the phone and call Benny Hinn to pray for me. I couldn't pick up the phone and call Kenneth Copeland to pray for me. I mean, I would have loved to have been able to do that. But I got a better thing to do. I got the word. I can call Jesus. I can go to the Word, find out what Jesus said, renew my mind, walk in divine health. But you got to renew your mind. you got to renew your mind that your marriage is happy. I could spend all day on that. I keep going to the Word. Song of Solomon is one of them. Um, I go to that scripture, Christ, like, I mean, I'm to love my wife just like Jesus loved the church. I'm to provide for her. I'm to give her guidance. I'm to protect her. All of those things Jesus does. I'm to love her just like Christ loves the church. I do my part. She does her part. And we are having a ball. Somebody said, well, you know how it is. You get older, you just kind of fall out of love. I'm going to tell you what the word says. The older I get, the more in love I get. <laughs> I got to go, saints. Renew your mind. Start thinking like God thinks. And then talking like God thinks. And start having some victory. Now, the Bible says that when you get up in the morning, you talk the word. When you walk by the way, you talk the word. When you go to bed at night, you talk the word. Now, all the rest of the time, you can watch football. 
And I watch football from time to time. I'm not saying you can't, but you need to put the word first place in your life. My son, attend. That means give attention to my word. The only way you're going to renew your mind is not by just listening to what Pastor Frank says, not just by listening to what, you know, all the other guys on television say. You need to go to the Word, find out what the Word says about you, not what somebody else says about you. Start walking in it. Have a victorious life. Enjoy the blessings of God. Hey, and until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, hey, you have a great day. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works.